Florida's Democratic Party leader was arrested late last night, hours after the state passed a controversial abortion bill. Video showing officers arresting Florida Democratic Party Chair Nikki Freed and Senate Minority Leader Lauren Book during a protest in Tallahassee. Yeah, today Freed is addressing the arrest and why she feels it was important for her to protest. News 6's Carolina Cardona joins us now live in the newsroom. And Carolina, what was Freed, uh, what has she been saying so far? Well, Ginger, after posting a $500 bond, Florida Democratic Chair Nikki Freed was released from Tallahassee Police. And she said this afternoon that it was important for her to be part of the demonstration because everyone in the state and across the globe needs to know what's happening in Florida and how women's health care is being compromised. What I consistently heard all day today was thank you for fighting for the women of our state. Florida Democratic Party Chair Nikki Freed speaking out a day after her arrest outside Tallahassee City Hall. <laughs> On Monday night, Freed and Florida Senate Minority Leader Lauren Book were among protesters sitting in a circle when they were arrested after the state's Senate approved a bill to ban abortions after six weeks. What this did was gave a jolt of energy to the base here in the state of Florida to show that we are standing up, that we are fighting back, that we are not going to back down. About a dozen protesters condemning SB 300 were handcuffed and arrested by Tallahassee police after they were warned to leave the area after sunset. Seeing people at every level of activism, including like elected officials who are willing to like put themselves between the government and people directly affected as much as they can. You know, that's why I came into that circle to do that. Among those detained was Harrison Lundy, a member of Women's Voices of Southwest Florida. A day before being detained, Lundy had been in Orlando with a group of demonstrators supporting women's rights. No peace! No justice! No peace! This is not a Democratic issue. This is not a Republican issue. This is not an independent issue. This is a human issue in dealing with our health care access and our health care rights. The bill includes exceptions in cases of rape and incest up to 15 weeks of pregnancy, something the current ban does not include. And so now the bill is still expected to pass the Florida House in the coming days. Governor Ron DeSantis has already said he will sign it when that happens. Live in the newsroom, Carolina Cardona, News 6. Back to you guys.